The colonial fair was spread over two days on the 7th and 9th of May 2015 and was one of Bathurst's main bicentennial events. It was held on either side of the Macquarie River near the Foundation Flagstaff. After the proclamation ceremony, people made their way to the fair. It was a very well planned fun day for adults, children alike. Are you cross? I am. I'm Wendy Blackslund. Gregory Blackslund was my great 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 grandfather, and I'm the writer of Bike to Eat. <laughs> yes. Well, these bikes are tremendous. Huh? Do you actually ride them? Yes. They'd be a bit of an art in that, I would imagine. We have the wonderful builder over here. He actually right. John builds them for Right. Ah, very good. I'm making some walnuts. A bit of morsels are needed. Went off very well. well congratulations to you all. Thank you. We it was a very well planned fun day for adults and children alike, recreating what life would have been like 200 years earlier. Many people were dressed in period costume and schools participated by recreating performances, games, fashions and behaviours of the period. Come here. Come on. Ah, it's a good stuff you're making there. <laughs> Very nice and sweet too. Very popular. <laughs> Will you marry me? Will you marry me? Lovely. Congratulations. <laughs> No, it's going well. <laughs> How are you ladies? You look beautiful. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, it's a great little spot, isn't it, for a colonial fair? And the proclamation day went very well, didn't it? Did you? Yes, very, very good. See young new blood up there, the yes. youth mayor. Yes. That's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, they thought it out very well, bringing together the cultures and the youth. Yeah. Well, congratulations on that beautiful costume. Uh, I'm Jeff McSpadden, and I was the chair of the organising committee for the Colonial Fair. Very good, Jeff. You must be very happy with it. It's gone really well. Yeah, it's very popular. Quite a lot of work, but it's gone well. Oh, yes. A lot we'll of just work. Hope next day on Saturday is even bigger and better. Yes, I'm sure the word will spread. And uh, could you tell us about some of the things you, you have put on display here? Oh, well, today is basically old trades and, and basically tourists. But right. on Saturday we'll have everything right through for the 200 years. We'll have old cars, we'll have steam engines, we'll have military vehicles. And we'll hopefully have a flyby if the weather's all right. Ah, we must come down there again. And, and Jeff, uh, how did you find Proclamation Day ceremony? I was here all day, I missed that. Oh, right. We You'll have to there. see it on film. Yeah, no, no we found it went very well. It's, no, it's, uh, good. No, it's, a, it's a major event for Bathurst, too. Oh, for years. sure. Great. For I sure. Mean, Inland Australia started by going through Bathurst, you know. Exactly. The agricultural industry started from this place. Yes. It was a major celebration. It was good to see uh, at the ceremony a blending of the cultures. And well, our, our sort of motto is, is uh, one people, one nation, many yeah. heritages. Mm. Very good. A strong family history and love of Bathurst made Jeff McSpedden the perfect person to step into the role of coordinator of the Bicentennial Colonial Fair.
Jeff formed a committee comprising of historians, service organisations, schools, businesses and the general public to come up with ideas for the colonial fair. And as you will see, there were a wide range of activities. look great in the uh, costume of the period and the K town crier has joined you. Yeah. Jasper turns 200! One time and one time only. Colonial Fair, Thursday and Saturday, down Peace Park, be there. Wonderful. And the reenactment was tremendous. Congratulations on, on that. You did very well. Are you um, obviously your locals from the? Ah uh, yes, I've yeah, been a local in Bathurst my whole life. Right, and a uh, lot of Bathurstians too. Yes, like I right. do. Yes, <laughs> the Brownings and the Reeses. The Brownings and the Reeses. Right. A popular name in Bathurst. So. And who devised the uh, reenactment? You've been practicing for quite a while, have you? Oh, I'd say you had three rehearsals. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all. You don't need one. Yeah, no, I wouldn't say start. much at all, so it's good. Yeah. Half an hour skip, you can just add a little yeah. bit. You did very well. Well, it made it all come alive. Congratulations yeah. to you all. Cheers. <laughs> it's the 9th of May 2015 and we're just down at the Peace Park to film the second day of the Colonial Fair. There's no rain but it's quite chilly. The hot food stands will do very well this day with the uh, Coolish weather. How are you? You've got a display on here that's very interesting. Can you tell me about it? Um, the small dolls are dolls with brownie and guide on from all over the world. And the big dolls are well, the Australian guide uniforms throughout many years. Very good. What a great um, idea. Yeah, it's great and to see the Girl guides are still very popular. It is, yes, we've got have a, four units of us. Oh, right, yes, it has a great tradition, doesn't it? It is. Yes, and it what is. do you think about the uh, celebrations going on today, the Colonial Fair? It's a great idea to celebrate our past 200 years, big number of For sure, well, have a great day, nice talking with you. Uh, guys, you look great in the period costume. Uh, uh, Chris, could you tell me a little bit about uh, what's going on today? Uh, yes, Bruce, we have uh, public flogging during the day. Uh, there are displays, there's a slab hut display, there's a flying fox for the children, uh, an animal zoo, petting the animals. Uh, we're hoping to have a cannon fire later on. Right. Yeah. Lots going on. A lot, Bruce, yeah. And you look great uh, dressed in the period costume. Could you tell me a little bit about uh, your family or the colonial day? Yeah, sure. Uh, we're the Hook family. Right. And we're descendants of the Ashes and the McPhillamies and Smith. Right. Samuel Smith. And I've come here today to give myself up to this gentleman. Yes. <laughs> Sick of life Yes. Yeah, so that should be very interesting. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you look lovely. What a great outfit there is. And what do you think about having something like Colonial Day? Um, I think it's a good day too. Yeah, and did you get to pro Proclamation Day or when they unveiled the uh, flag staff? No. Didn't get to that, you're at school. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'll be able to see it on film. 
Uh, hi, how, hi are how are you? Yes, uh, <laughs> you having a good time here? Yes, thanks. We have we really enjoy these days. Oh, that's well, great. that's, yeah. that's uh, great. Houses yeah. done well and museums done great. Yes, history, there's lots family of family history. Lots of things yeah. happening for yeah. sure. No, it's a great day to remember, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Thank you all so much. <laughs> how many, when did they Juanita, I've been admiring the uh, stand and very interested in the history. Could you tell me about the uh, history of the Chinese in Bathurst in a short form? Uh, well, most people think that the Chinese first arrived here with the gold rush. In fact, they um, were brought here as indentured labourers. And so um, there were a number of indentured labourers. I'm still trying to find out exactly where they where they were. There were lots further away from Bathurst in Karkor at Aroan Bang and um, Kuming Park, but there were some in Bathurst as well. Of course, then there were large numbers of Chinese who came for the gold rush. Yes. Many of them went back, but some of them stayed and they worked in various occupations such as cooks, um, harvesters, labourers. Yes market gardeners and that's what ended up as their pr predominant the occupation which is why my display today is about the Chinese market gardeners. Oh, right. Most people in Bathurst you talk to have a memory of you know maybe their grandparents used to buy Chinese vegetables yes. or they remember the Morrison Street Gardens or the gardens in the hockey fields or something like that. Right. Um, but um, from the research that I've been doing because I'm yes. a PhD candidate at CSU oh, I've discovered that um, the Chinese were actually um, that the gardens were far more widespread than people Yes. Realise. project that started off in Tasmania for grants from the heart, and um, there's been over 25,000 coming women. Ladies, what a wonderful display. Quite fascinating that you, the theme is the bonnets. Could you tell me about that? Yes, I can. Uh, the bonnets project was a project started about 2009 to champion the lives of the over 25,000 female convicts that came to Australia. Of those, 10,000 went through uh, female factories across Australia. We had a female factory in Bathurst and we were trying to research all the women that went through the female factory in Bathurst. And for them we actually will make a bonnet for each one. Wonderful. And um, when they're finished we'll sail them back to Parramatta where the women were assigned from and bring them back to Bathurst. Oh, that's wonderful. And, uh, Plenty of work uh, to do. Yes, there's a lot of research and then uh, making them too. Uh, yes, there is. That's is, right. Uh, the term female good. factory is a rather strange one, but um, it wasn't actually a factory where anybody made anything. It was right. more or less a storing, storage depot for the women, oh, I see. Um, where they were just held there really until they were assigned to their work placements, whether it be a farm or a servant somewhere. Yes. So it was really just, a, a, for want of a better term, a depot where they were temporarily placed yes. and then moved on to wherever their work assignment was. And it was just located over here on the corner. Oh, uh, isn't the that only, the yes. only two-storey building that we had in, in yes. Bathurst at the time, and they were housed upstairs. Um, ah. with of course the barest amount of luxuries, yes. um, a nice straw bed, one blanket, yes. two sets of cotton shift type clothes, yes. one that you wore one week, washed for the other week, and uh, hmm. very, very hard. The uh, children obviously take great delight in uh, the pets the as well as the adults <laughs> too. They're, they're beautiful. Goodness me, what do we have here? I oh, didn't do it! What did you do? What's he guilty of? I dropped a bit of paper on the ground. Oh. He stole corn. Oh. He stole my corn. Oh, I borrowed it. Stole the corn. I borrowed you don't it. Do that. <laughs> what a wonderful day it's turning out to be, isn't beautiful it? Beautiful day. Yes. Everything's going so well. Yes, yes, and so many people in the in the costume of the period and That's right. uh, some fascinating things and to learn. Some have worked learn. very, very hard since last November.
Oh, you can imagine the amount of work that's gone into all that. And so many different displays and things happening yes, through the week. Yes, very many uh, displays and we have so much pertaining to that period, 200 years ago, with our colonial background. Yes. And um, I love the way the people are embracing the day. Yes. yes embracing it, all of us, really. It really recreates the period, doesn't it? That's right. Yes. yes. Thank you so much. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life.